Okay, so this afternoon I'm going to be doing a quick rip at Parc de Montagne Noir. So Montagne Noir is located just outside the town of Ribon, Quebec. And to get there, you just take the Terso exit off of the Highway 50. You'll hit the 317, and that'll bring you all the way up to Ripon. And you just hang a left at Ripon. It's about a two-minute drive to the mountain. Okay, so this is what the network looks like. Uh, I had checked this place out about a year ago. So there's a video up on my channel, but it's a uh, lower quality footage. So I thought I'd uh, come back this afternoon and revisit and do all the uh, Keystone trails, plus some trails that I didn't have time to do before uh, and obviously in higher quality footage. Also, there's some new trails that they just put in about a week ago and some new stunts that they just installed yesterday too. So I showed up at the right time. They're also going to be having uh, a festival on uh, September 19th. So it'd be a good uh, chance to see what the network's all about. Okay, so just trying some of the new woodwork out here. <laughs> okay, easy does it. Jump over! Whoa, got it. That's so hard. So tough. And a drop there. It's about a three foot drop. here. Kind of weird. Just gotta keep your speed. So I ran into a local family that uh, told me about some new trails that were built that weren't there the first time I went to ride. So they have two new intermediate trails. This is the lodge right here. And they kind of come down the side of the mountain and then they hit the trail too. So I went to check those out. Okay, so I was just talking to some people and uh, apparently there's a new trail just located off to the side here. So let's go check it out. So new trail. Let's see how this, whoa, two new trails. Definitely intermediate level. This is fun. Beautiful. I don't know. 
I would have liked to see maybe, not complaining, but I would have liked to see a little bit more kind of a couple flat sections there. They could have angled them and I'm a little more downhill. Ooh, I think that is. But not complaining. This is cool. I love riding fresh trails. Nobody's ridden this. Yeah, not bad. Nice firm. Okay. Okay, got it. So this comes out on the two. Okay, so on the way down, I was mentioning like that I wish the trail was maybe a little bit more downhill or sloped a little bit more. But, you know, come to think of it, um, it's actually climbable. So I don't know when this trail, when it's finished, if it's going to be just directional or a lot of climbing. Probably won't. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm just climbing it and it, uh, it's kind of uh, not so steep where it's too steep to climb. So it's kind of cool. It makes a good multi-directional trail, you know. You can climb the uh, climb the two and then uh, hop onto this guy. Yeah, cool trail. I like it. All right, got a little downpour as you can see. A little sprinkle, sprinkle. Should make the trails just perfect. Nice and tacky. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do this uh, trail again, but I'm gonna take the left fork this time, see what that does. Where that goes. So we're going left. Oh, okay. We're splits. Oh, let's go this way. So that's a left and a right. And I know this one just leads back down into the other one I just went and took. So I don't have the names for these, I don't know. I'm not on trail forks yet. Okay, little pedal, little pedal. Ceci pour remonter, lui. Ceci pour, non. Okay. Okay, so next I climb the mountain. So I usually just take the service road to come up here to this uh, P3 parking where they have the new uh, lookout tower. So you can climb Valup number eight, and it's actually a really nice climbing trail. But uh, for me, I just find the service road just the easiest way to go. So. So they do have a climbing trail here, uh, but I usually just take the service road to climb up. It's because I find it's the easiest way. And uh, it's, uh, it's actually not that bad of a climb. It's pretty shallow. Give yourself maybe about 20 minutes to a, a half hour to get up. And yeah, I just, I do that. But, uh, that left is a nice trail anyway, if you did want to climb on it. But uh, yeah, so it's going to be doing this for the next half hour. No, maybe 20 minutes. They built a new uh, observation tower here. Pretty nice. Just finally be at the top. Yeah. Let's go check it out. Yeah, so just climbing. This is like brand new. 
nicely done. All right guys, so we made it to the top. This thing is crazy high. It's like probably about 100 foot high, maybe, no, maybe like 60. And you get amazing views. So it looks like uh, Tromblin is probably over there. We were just talking about that. And then uh, this guy's a 360. Okay, so last time I came here, I didn't do 12, and there's a new trail. Well, I think it's a new trail, or it's a trail that I didn't do before, 13. So it should be coming up uh, at 7. Yeah, right here. Okay. So this one I didn't do before. Let's check it out. Oh, I don't think this is new. I just didn't do it. Huh. Is it like a flow run or what? I think that's going to continue then. It's going to go down and then meet up with uh, some of those new trails. So I'm just going to... Uh I'm going to probably finish up here and do Einstein. Or Lausanne. Probably going to finish up and do Lausanne. Oh, that's the freaking video room. Yeah, okay, I got it. All right, so I climbed back up the mountain second time. Uh, this time I passed P3 and I went all the way to the Belvedere Lookout. After that, I tried a trail 15, which I didn't try before. They have it marked as a double track, but it's actually a, a single track. Here's the thing with the 15. If you notice this cell tower here, this actually marks, if we look at our topo, it actually marks the top of the mountain. So anything in this direction to the lookout is a little bit downhill. And then anything that way is downhill. So the cell tower is about here, so going that way is downhill, and then going the other way to the Belvedere Lookout is kind of biased downhill. So you'll see in the video what I did is, I didn't know at the time, so I took the 15 from 
this way. So it's essentially an uphill all the way to the cell tower. I think the best way to take the 15 is just enter at the cell tower and depending on which direction you want to go. So again, like going this way is downhill and then going that way is down hill in that direction. For my final run, what I did was I did the 15 and then I connected into the uh, Grand Pic, which is a nice uh, downhill flow run. And then I hit the nine, which actually starts in here and is another big downhill all the way to P1. So I always park at P1 just because if you connect those trails up, it makes for like a pretty epic last ride if you want to finish off your day, consisting of pretty much all the Keystone trails there. So let's go check it out. Okay, so this is the Belvedere Lookout. Some same old stuff. Nice. So, before the sun goes down, I want to hit this one right here. 15, gonna go into the 10. All the way down, all the way down, all the way down, and then hit the nine. And then go all the way down to parking P1. That should be a pretty sweet ride. So, we go check out the 15. That's what that's all about. I think it goes this way. Okay, so this is the 15, which I believe is new or new-ish. I don't remember seeing it when I came, uh, it was like a year ago or two years ago. Yeah, so I think that's the way to take this next time. You come in at the, uh, the uh, cell phone tower and then that's where it starts, the downhill. Yeah. Okay, got it. And if you want to go to the Be Belvedere Lookout, then you get in at the cell phone tower and go down the other way. So this way it gives you a downhill experience. Hey, my buddy. Oh, easy, buddy.
emphasis, but I like it. Did I miss something? Oh, oh, it's a little. Okay, let's go check that out. Okay, so this is just a little alternative line. You don't want to take that bridge. Oh, I guess you could go off that rock. I guess that's the idea. Well, get some other day. Anyway. Okay, continuing on the 15. This should bring us into the little pick. Seats down, let's rock. Drain ditches that are like a foot deep. my breath and I'm gonna hit the nine all the way down to the parking lot okay this is one of my favorite trails here not science now in better video quality really got a dab to get these corners down. Yeah, hold on. It's 
a little bit of pedaling on this upper part. Nothing too bad. That was a cool afternoon rip. <clears throat> Went to Mall, did a couple, couple run, new runs that I didn't do before. It's cool. I like this place. Tons of potential here. Tons of potential. So this guy I got to do next time. You know, a chance. I'm gonna do 12. All the way down there.